15 Things You Didn't Know About Brioni Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're revealing some unknown facts about one of the most prestigious names in luxury menswear, Brioni. Brioni was founded in Rome by master tailor Nazareno Fonticoli and businessman Gaetano Savini in 1945. From the very beginning, Brioni has offered innovative designs with distinctive silhouettes, color options, and fabrics. Their suits quickly attracted the attention of celebrities, heads of state, and business leaders. At the end of the 1950s, they opened a production plant in Penne, Italy to better meet the demand of their growing customer base. The factory introduced the concept of ready-to-wear haute couture, which elevated the brand to the international fashion scene. The company entered a new era when it was purchased by French fashion group Kering in 2012. Creative director Brendan Mullane expanded the product lines to include ready-to-wear collections, leather goods, shoes, eyewear, and fragrances. In 2016, Justin O'Shea was briefly named creative director with the goal of revolutionizing the brand, but his tenure was short-lived. After eight months with no creative director, Nina Maria Nietzsche was appointed to the role, becoming the first woman creative director in the brand's history. Brioni is now working to remain relevant in an increasingly competitive luxury goods market, but we're confident that a company with such a rich history of innovation will be able to evolve to meet the changing needs of its customers. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Let's take a closer look now at the esteemed Italian couture house with 15 things you didn't know about Brioni. Number 1. Brioni had the first fashion show for the menswear industry. In 1952, the Brioni brand made history by holding the very first menswear fashion show at the Pitti Palace in Florence, Italy. Life magazine wrote about the fashion show at the time, saying that it featured startling innovations, such as matching ensembles and brass button overcoats. The fashion show not only helped make a name for the brand internationally, but also made a great impact on the future of men's fashion. Number 2. Brioni was named for a common vacation spot of the rich and famous. Unlike the names of many high-end fashion labels that come from a surname, Brioni was actually named for a group of islands off the Croatian coast in the Adriatic Sea that was frequented by Europe's rich and famous in the first few decades of the 20th century before World War II. Number 3. Brioni had a very unique fashion show to introduce their brand to the United States. In 1964, Brioni introduced their brand to the United States by draining the fountains of New York's famous Waldorf Astoria Hotel and transforming them into a runway during the New York World Fair. They followed this show with fashion shows in eight other cities and opened up their first American shop later that year. Number 4. Justin O'Shea was fired after just six months with the company. Justin O'Shea was hired as a creative director of Brioni back in March of 2016, despite not having any design training or experience. This was a shocking appointment to most in the fashion industry, but Brioni was looking for a radical way to reinvent themselves. He introduced only one collection in his brief tenure at Brioni, which raised eyebrows as it veered away from Brioni's traditional conservative stylings with looks like crocodile skin jackets, a calf-length jacket covered in gun print, and velvet suits. His tenure was abruptly ended just six months after it began. Number 5. The Brioni Vanquish 2 suit had a price tag of $43,000. In the fall of 2008, when the world was experiencing a global recession, Brioni introduced one of their most expensive suit lines in the history of the company. The Brioni Vanquish 2 line of suits were made from the finest fibers of Vicuña, Pashmina, and Kivuik. Kivuik wool comes from the musk ox that only lives in the Canadian Arctic, Alaska, and Greenland. Vicuña wool comes from a species of llama, and the pashmina wool comes from four distinct breeds of cashmere goats, typically found in India and Nepal. Only 100 of these handmade suits were created in 14 different styles, with the most expensive being $43,000. Number 6. O'Shea posted a picture of a Brioni coffin on Instagram. 
hours before it was announced that the creative director Justin O'Shea had been fired six months into the job. He posted a picture on Instagram that could have given some of his discerning followers a heads up on his impending departure. The picture he posted was of a coffin, standing upright in the window of a company store. The coffin was embellished with the initial of the Brioni brand in the new gothic font he introduced in his rebranding of the company. Number 7. Brioni launched an $830 fragrance in 2009. In 2009, Brioni launched a fragrance inspired by a cologne they sold in 1959 called Good Luck. The fragrance was simply called Brioni, and it came in an exclusive glass container made by glass blowers in the town of Empoli, Italy, and it was housed in a handmade Italian leather case that also held a booklet about the company's history. The scent was sold for $399 for the 100ml size, and $830 for the 300ml size. Number 8. Members of Metallica were hired in 2016 as the face of the brand. In his short time with the company, Justin O'Shea definitely tried to revolutionize the Brioni brand by stepping away from the traditional into more unexpected areas. One of the ways he did this was by hiring members of the heavy metal band Metallica to be the new faces of the brand. Band members Kirk Hammett, Lars Ulrich, James Hetfield, and Robert Trujillo were featured in a black and white ad that was inspired by Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody cover art. The band wrote on their Instagram, We are beyond thrilled to have been invited to be the face of the Italian luxury menswear powerhouse Brioni as they kick off their first creative campaign under the direction of newly appointed creative director, uber cool style star Justin O'Shea. They were also in the front row for O'Shea's first and last fashion show with the company. Number 9. Donald Trump is a big fan of Brioni In much less controversial times, Brioni supplied current US President Donald Trump with suits while he was filming his reality show The Apprentice. Brioni was also one of Donald Trump's preferred suit brands while he was on the campaign trail, which was somewhat controversial because many believed that he should be wearing American brands exclusively. Brioni is also a favorite of former President Obama, but Trump received more criticism because his brand choices seemed to conflict with the America First rhetoric he had during his campaign. Brioni has not commented on their relationship with the president, but many say that the association is not doing the brand's image any favors. Brioni also has a 220 square foot store in the newly opened Trump International Hotel in Washington, D.C. Number 10. Tom Ford took Brioni's spot as the suit maker for James Bond. Brioni was the costumer of choice for the James Bond films Goldeneye, Tomorrow Never Dies, The World Is Not Enough, Die Another Day, and Casino Royale. This was one of the most high-profile roles the suitmaker had in pop culture, and it seemed like this would be a great business relationship for many movies to come, before Tom Ford stepped on the scene and became the preferred designer for the 2008 Bond film Quantum of Solace, and again for the 2015 film Spectra. If you want to learn more about the designer that took Brioni's place, click in the upper right hand corner to check out our video of 15 things you didn't know about Tom Ford. Number 11. Caring bought Brioni in 2010 for $413 million. Caring is a French luxury goods conglomerate that has acquired some of the biggest brands in the luxury fashion world, including Gucci, Saint Laurent, Alexander McQueen, and Bottega Veneta. In 2010, they also purchased Brioni, reportedly for $413 million. They are working to increase the brand's presence in North America, Europe, and Asia, and they're also trying to expand the brand with a collection of fashion-forward leisure wear and accessories. Number 12. Brioni is an unintended victim of companies' more casual dress codes. Brioni's bottom line has suffered in recent years due to major companies moving to more casual dress codes. At companies like JP Morgan, where high power suits used to be a requirement, it's becoming more typical to have business casual dress policies on most occasions. Another example is PricewaterhouseCoopers, which is America's fifth largest private company. They changed their dress code drastically to allow their employees to ditch suits and instead wear jeans except when meeting with clients. It's moves like these that put traditional suit companies like Brioni in jeopardy, but this is why Brioni is actively working to expand its leisure wear collection. 
Number 13. Brioni made a limited edition James Bond suit. Just before the Bond film Casino Royale came out in 2006, Brioni introduced a limited edition Bond themed tuxedo, which had James Bond stitched into the silver lining. The tux was only sold in a select few stores at a cost of about $4,000. Number 14. Brioni accepts only 15 to 18 students at its Scuola de Alta Sartoria every four years. The company's Scuola de Alta Sartoria, or School of Haute Couture, is located in Penne in central Italy and was established in 1985 due to a lack of skilled tailors. This is where their 400 master tailors learn the fine craftsmanship required to make a perfect Brioni suit. The school only accepts 15 to 18 exceptionally qualified students every four years, and those who complete the grueling training process become master tailors. Number 15. It takes 22 hours to make one Brioni suit. Let's look at Brioni by the numbers. It takes 22 hours to make one flawless Brioni suit, and 35 hours to make a dinner jacket. More than 180 people work on each suit. The jackets have 5,000 hand-sewn stitches, and it takes 15 minutes just to hand-sew each buttonhole. The jackets also go through 220 processes during their creation, 80 of which are ironing. Now that you've learned more about Brioni, do you think they'll be able to overcome their challenges and continue to be successful in the luxury menswear industry? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Here's a bonus fact just for you. Brioni has been worn by a wide range of celebrities, heads of state, and the wealthy for decades. The list of people who have worn the brand include Clark Gable, Cary Grant, Al Pacino, Kirk Douglas, Leonardo DiCaprio, Nelson Mandela, Luciano Pavarotti, Carlos Slim, Kofi Annan, and George W. Bush. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.